The days are always busy before a new business opens. Finishing touches, permits, and inspections need to be up to date. This week, the first recreational cannabis dispensary opens on Staten Island. Flower, which is the main seller. Then you have pre-rolls. You have pre-rolls that are infused. Gummies, edibles, chocolates, concentrates. I'm just going to be excited to be open. Meet the two owners of the Flowery on Veterans Road West in the Charleston neighborhood of Staten Island. I'm from Staten Island and I wanted to bring something back home. They want the store to be known for customer service and product knowledge. The inventory is regulated by the state. It all has to be produced in New York. Licenses for the first dispensaries were given to people with past marijuana-related offenses. The people that know us know us, and I'm just a, a Mo and he's a Shlomo. Momo. Uh, yeah. The owners have a special story and connection, different cultures, they become friends. It's a New York story. We just were ourselves around everyone, regardless of where your background or who you are. We're both in business. We both like to talk to customers. We're both very friendly. So it just made sense that we would apply and see where it takes us. They never thought the thing that got them in trouble years ago would lead to a new business. 20 years ago, it would be Nobody's trying to help you there, you know, so they gave us an opportunity and we're very, very thankful. We're hoping that this year is our year because we've been waiting uh, six months with an empty storefront. The social justice licenses were the first to be granted by the state. More are set to be opened this year and then another round of business owners can apply. The state has been taking in millions in tax revenue already in the year that the dispensaries have been open. More expected in 2024. On Staten Island, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.